Here is a uh, lock that I just picked up. Um, the reason I bought it is because it's the toughest uh, bell bicycle lock that I've ever seen. It's called a Bell Catalyst 750 Long Shackle U-Lock. Um, they give it a, say it comes with a thousand dollar anti-theft uh, protection offer. Uh, it has the highest rating of five, which is their maximum rating. Um, they say that this is independently uh, t tested, uh, security tested. So um, it comes with a push button LED light key that actually works better than my kryptonite uh, New York lock. Um, it has a disc detainer uh, type lock so you don't have to worry about anyone picking this open and it has this red plastic uh, weather protection for the keyway. And on the back here there's a security level 5 maximum. Um, has a key replacement uh, program but you have to sign up online and give them the key code. This anti-theft protection offer, I don't know the details but um, if it's anything like uh, master locks it's real strict. And I doubt anyone ever qualifies for this protection. Um, it's got this interesting typo. It says to lock your bicycle, properly place a chain around a fixed object. Well, this isn't a chain. It's a, it's a U-lock. Um, so there's the back. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is um, I'm not going to try and break this with any brute force attack, but I will be comparing it to a um, Kryptonite New York lock. Um, so let's uh, get these straps off and... Get the lock out, out of its packaging. And let's get started. So here it is next to the Kryptonite New York lock. Um, this lock I paid, uh, I think, it, I don't remember the exact amount, but I think it was over $100. It also comes with a LED key, which I have problems with lighting. Somebody has contact problems. Which is kind of funny because I paid so much for it. Um, but I do like the lock. I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not bagging on the lock. Um, the bell lock I paid uh, twenty dollars for and there's the, the key again, the lighter key. Um, it's about the same width. I guess there's probably a standard U lock width um, for these sizes. I don't know. Looks like the bell's a little bit wider, uh, but the bell is longer. It's got the long, the longer U-lock. Um, but let's get these off to the side and see how much they weigh. I'm going to measure them in pounds. Um, there's pounds, and put the bell on there. It's about 3.51, 3.52 pounds. And the uh, Kryptonite New York lock is heavier. It's 3.9596 pounds. Uh, if you want grams, let's see, let's do grams. Kryptonite New York lock is 1,790, say 95 grams. And the Bell Catalyst is. 1,596 grams. Next, let's uh, take these apart and uh, weigh the individual parts of the lock. Uh, set them like this. Get the scale in here. I'm only going to do it in pounds. Or maybe I should do it in, uh, let's do it in grams. Um, Alright, the cross member of the Kryptonite New York lock. This is much heavier than the, the bell. 896 grams in the bell. No more than half that. Uh, 512 grams. And then the U-lock set part, 902 grams for the kryptonite, and the bell, I think it's going to be heavier, 1,086 grams. 
Um, yeah, I, I, you notice right away that this is much lighter and uh, just doesn't feel as as uh, as tough as the kryptonite lock. And I have also noticed that um, I have trouble, I have more trouble getting the key. Just the, just the action of a lock, it's just more to harder to deal with than the kryptonite. But I mean, it's only 20 bucks. And I also have noticed that um, sometimes when I go to put this on, it doesn't doesn't always seat all the way and I can't turn the key but not a big deal so I uh, took this piece off of the kryptonite lock so um, I could uh, measure the diameter of this U section U part this is the part that uh, is used to secure the lock to the bicycle when you're when you're carrying the lock around um, so the kryptonite lock measures, I'm going to do this in inches, um, 637 thousandths, let's take another reading, 630 thousandths, go with that one, and the bell, 632 I think the bell's a little bit bigger than the kryptonite. 633, 633 thousandths. Um, also, the, um, where the kryptonite where it latches into this cross member, it tapers down to a much smaller size. And the bell stays the same size, as you can see there. Um, I don't know which one's stronger. It all depends on the how this metal was treated. I have a feeling that the kryptonite's going to be stronger because, uh, you know, just because of the cost. But um, I don't want to break any of these locks, so I'm not going to find out um, today. Next, I'm going to um, kind of see just how hard the metal is. It's supposed to be hardened on both locks. Um, I'm going to take this hacksaw and see if I can uh, get a bite on the metal part of this U-lock. Um, I guess I'll give it five, five tries and try and try to do it equally to both uh, to both lock locks. And you can see how my blade just slides around. It doesn't doesn't really bite in. That just tells you that the metal is hardened. And um, do the same to the kryptonite. And again, it's the same thing, just slides around. It's like it's on ice. And then one more thing, I just want to show you the action of this cross member where the latches, this bar pops out when you turn the key and latches into the the U bar. And there's the other side. So my final thoughts about the Bell Catalyst 750. Um, I can't know exactly how tough it is because I didn't break it. Didn't try to break it. But I think the weak link is this cross member section. Uh, it might be vulnerable to uh, hammer blows um, or uh, leverage attacks. But I don't know how vulnerable it is because I haven't uh, tried to break it. Um, I do like how the extra length of this U section, I have had trouble in the past with this kryptonite lock, um, the short distance, I wasn't able to use the lock how I wanted, um, so that extra length is nice. Um, the disc detainer key, you don't have to worry about this being picked, um, I do like how they give you a free key because I don't know of any locksmiths in the United States who can cut these disc detainer keys, so it's nice that they give you a free one if you need it. And I do like the LED light, which actually works on this one. Um, see what else can I say about it? I don't like using these U locks um, very much because just they're, they're so heavy and and hard to carry around. So um, I tend to stick to lighter, uh, just not not necessarily lighter, but easier to carry around locks. But I would use this on a, a department store bike. I would have no problem doing that. Um, so. Anyway, 
That is the uh, Bell Catalyst 750, and thanks for watching.